Greetings from IHM Hyderabad. I am Sam Lagwal and today we would be showing on you a demonstration of one of the fifth semester menus. And the menu goes like this. Kish Lauren, roast lamb with mint sauce and worms for easy. Before we start the demonstration, let us quickly see a brief about the dishes. First, we have something called as a quiche lorry. Quiche is a French savory tart which can be served as a starter or as a snack. So when we are speaking about quiche Lorraine, it is a quiche which consists of ingredients such as onions, ham, bacon, cream, cheese and eggs. Now let us see the ingredients which goes into the preparation of a quiche lorraine. So as we said earlier, quiche lorraine consists of two basic components. One is the base which is made out of shortbread pastry and then the filling. So for the preparation of the base, the tart, we would be using refined flour, 90 grams, 60 grams of butter, 3 grams of salt. The ingredients which are required for the filling are number 1 butter, chopped onions, chopped bacon, ham which is finely chopped, chopped cheese, here we have used processed cheddar cheese, whole eggs, fresh cream, salt and black pepper. Now let us see the preparation of our short press pastry which in turn will be converted into a tart base. So we'll take flour which has already been sifted as we told earlier it's going to be 90 grams of flour pinch of salt and 60 grams of butter to make the pastry we would be rubbing in the fat into the flour Here I am using my hands because it is a very small quantity whereas when you are working on large quantities we can use a machine. The fat and the flour is rubbed together so that the fat coats the flour and we get a texture which resembles sand. Now 
Now our ingredients are mixed well and it resembles a sandy texture. To this we are sprinkling some chilled water in order to bind it together. We have added some chilled water and we would bring everything to together. Now our dough is ready. The kneaded dough for our shorter space tray is going to be rested for around 20 minutes to half an hour. After the resting, we would be sheeting it and we would be making our tarts. Our dough is rested for around half an hour. Now let us start dividing the dough and let us start making the tart. The tart shell. So today we would be using a small tart shell like this. So this is how it goes. Let us roll a tart. Let us roll it to the thickness of around two to three centimeters. So I'm just dipping my fingers in the flour so that the dough does not stick to my fingers. With the help of my thumb, I'm trying to remove all air bubbles. Now that we have our tart ready, we will send it for baking. So uh, we would be baking this at our shells are ready. Now we would be baking it at 170 to 180 degrees Celsius for around 7 to 10 minutes. Now that our oven is preheated and it has come to temperature, so we would be baking it. Let us remove it. Kish shell is ready. Now let us see the making of our filling. To start with, I have heated a pan here. I have heated a pan. I have added some, I am adding some butter. Some ham, then we will allow the ham and the bacon to render its fat. Once the fat has been rendered. We will add 
finely chopped onions and cook the onions along with the ham and bacon. At this stage, we season it with a little black pepper. We are not adding salt here because the ham, is, ham and the bacon is going to give us a lot of salt. At this stage, we add some onions. Finally chop. Now our ham, bacon, onion is cooked well. Now we will remove it into another dish. We continue with our filling. Our sauteed onions along with bacon and ham is ready. Now let us get our eggs, cream and cheese going. To complete the filling, we break an egg here. We take in one. We are adding some cream. This is a regular amul cream which we get it in regular markets. And cheese. Here the cheese is amul, a shara type cheese. We have not grated the cheese whereas we have chopped it coarsely. Here I am adding a pinch of salt for seasoning. Salt, I am using very less salt because we are using ham, we are using bacon and we are using cheese which is salty by itself. So this quantity of salt being used is very minimal. Then a little crushed black pepper for flavor and taste and some finely chopped parsley for another layer of flavor and color So we are going to finish our quiche. The quiche is filled with our sauteed onions and bacon and ham and some butter. And this is topped with a mix of cheese, eggs, cream, little seasoning and some finely chopped parsley.
Now that our quiche lorin is ready to be baked, we are baking it at a temperature of around 170 for around 12 to 15 minutes. Now our quiche lorraine is out of the oven and it has come out very well. Now our quiche lorraine is ready. Now let us see the preparation of a roast lamb. So for the preparation of a roast leg of lamb, we have the leg of a lamb, right? And here we have chosen the hind leg of the animal. So for the roast leg of lamb, the hind leg looks better than the shoulder. That is one of the reason I have used a hind leg. So when we look at the hind leg, it is approximately a kilo to 1.2 kilos. This is around 1 kilo and 200 grams. We have detached the hip bone so that only the leg is here. There are many ways of roasting it. One is on the bone and then the other one is a deboned leg of lamb. In today's case, we are not deboning the leg of lamb, we are roasting it with the bone. Now let us look at the ingredients which goes into the making of our roast leg of lamb. Number one, crushed black pepper. Rosemary. Thyme. Oil. Some red wine, salt, roughly cut carrots, celery, stalks of celery, leeks, some turnips, and some roughly chopped onions. These vegetables will be used to raise the leg of lamb from the tray in which we are roasting so that these vegetables will act as a trivet and will give us a gap for the roasting juices and the fat to drip from the leg onto the tray. These vegetables will also roast along with the lamb giving it a better flavor, different layers of flavors and it will also help us to get a good gravy or a roasting pan juice towards the end of the bread. Now let us start marinating our lamb. First things first, we will start with a little salt. Crushed pepper, here we are adding sp sprigs of rosemary, I am adding the stalks of the rosemary also to give it a better layer of flavoring, however when we are serving it we will be removing the stalks. Here the rosemary is fresh 
and some time. Some oil. Once all the ingredients are put, we mix it well so that we form a good emulsion out of it. Now our marinade is ready and it's time for us to introduce our leg of lamb into our marinade. And massage or rub the marinade all over our lamb leg so that the flavors of our marinade steeps inside the leg. Now that our leg is marinated we will leave this for around 6 hours or preferably overnight to get a very succulent roast. Now that our leg of lamb has marinated well, now it is time for us to send it for roasting. As we have mentioned earlier, the leg of lamb would be placed on a bed of roughly cut vegetables which will act as a trivet in order to hold the leg of lamb. So we add some carrots. Celery. Turnip. Leeks. some onions. So we will level it in such a fashion that the leg of lamb sits on top of it and then we send it for roasting. Our roast leg of lamb is ready. Our roast leg of lamb is ready now. After coming from the oven, it is rested for a while. Now let us carve it and then let us present it along with its accompaniments, which is going to be mint sauce and Parisian potatoes. I'm using a carving knife here. The meat is well cooked. Now let us look at the making of mint sauce. Mint sauce is a classical accompaniment of a roast leg of lamb. So now let us see the ingredients which goes into the making of our mint sauce. Number one, we have mint leaves, 
I have plucked the leaves, washed it, and I have kept it, dried it, and kept it. We have some salt which goes into the sauce, a pinch of sugar to sharpen it, crushed pepper. We will be using olive oil and some white wine vinegar. These are the ingredients which goes into the making of our mint sauce. So we start with our mint sauce. To start with the mint sauce, I have some water boiling and we are going to blanch our mint leaves for approximately 10 seconds. After blanching, we would be refreshing our blanched mint leaves and ice water in order to prevent it from turning black. After refreshing, we are going to blend all the ingredients together in order to make our sauce. And this is how it goes. We have our water boiling and in goes the Mint leaves, a very quick blanch, We have our mint which is blanched. So we blanch it so that we are able to retain the freshness of the mint and we are able to maintain the color of it. To this mint, we are adding a pinch of salt, pinch of sugar. Some crushed pepper comes for heat. Some white wine vinegar. And some olive oil. And this is going to be blended together. Of course, I'm using a hand blender. If you do not have a hand blender, you may use a mixer too. You need to be careful while you're blending it. You should spill out. And our mint sauce is ready now. The next dish which we are looking at is Pomes Parisian. Speaking about Pomes Parisian, the ingredients which goes into the making of the Pomes Parisian are as follows. In today's case, baby potatoes, butter, Parsley, salt, and some pepper. Along with butter, we will also be using some olive oil which will prevent the butter from burning. Now let us see the finishing of our Pomes Parisian. Let's start heating our pan. 
वन सो पानस हट वे आर आरिंग अ लिटल ऑयल हियर आई एम यूजिंग सम ऑलिव ऑयल ऑफ कोर्स एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑयल कैन बी यूज्ड आई एम यूजिंग ऑयल सो दैट द बटर व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड विल नॉट बर्न we are waiting for our oil to get heated there we go we add a little butter Wait for our butter to froth. The moment our butter starts frothing, we will add our potatoes and cook the potatoes till it develops a nice brown crust. Here we go. Our potatoes have started have started developing a crust. We'll wait for a couple of more minutes till we have a nice brown crust. At that stage, we will season our potatoes with salt. Crushed black pepper and. Parsley. Now that our potatoes have nicely developed color, we will season it with a little salt. Some crushed pepper. And parsley. And our Parisian potatoes are Ready. so that brings us to the end of this demonstration so to do a quick recap today's menu fish lorin roast lamb mint sauce and parisian potatoes and we have the same products here and here we present our fish lorin we have our roast leg of lamb along with parisian potatoes and mint sauce i hope this video was informative happy learning thank you